Hi everyone, welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. As the boys roar overhead, fantastic. We're back, job 3225. We're on the Spitfire, our pilot is Peter Carmley. Short patrol over Hastings, notice some faint knocking sounds from the engine. Please check what's wrong. So you need to check what the knocking sound is, refill the coolant, refuel the aircraft. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, so i got a comment to say. If you have a look, Taff, you might be able to see that you can refill the coolant without actually taking the cowling off. Now, we'll have to take the cowling off probably anyway. Can we rotate the propeller? There we go. Get it out of the way. Ah, oh, this here. Look, coolant access door. You are absolutely right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great call. Anyway, we're probably going to have to get this off anyway because we need to see what these... Um, Inspect the engine to see what this tapping noise is. Yeah, but that is a good thing to, to know for next time when we have to do a quick... Uh, hello? Have I missed a screw or something? I have. I've missed a couple of screws there. There we go. Right. Um, let's take the uh, the cowlings off so we can get a full good look at it. These are just nice screw... Ah, oh, twist... Twist catch little um, ones. That is nice. Right. Um, let's get down the ladder. Uh, let's pop the ladder over there for a second. Uh, we'll take this all off, because um, why not? Let's have a look. This is going to be glorious. And there's no time limit, so we can just enjoy what we're doing. There you go. I'll take the bottom assembly off as well. Wow. Lots of uh, connections here. Brill. Right. Oh, that sun is really awkward at that angle. So uh, we'll come over here. And we'll start seeing. So tapping noises generally, I would have thought would probably be the pistons or um, something like that, the tappets. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just give everything a quick inspect, see what we can see, um, just so we know. Front plate's okay. There's no vibration in the propeller, is there? No, that's not what's causing it. We'll get this all checked out just so we can get a, a, a feel for where everything is. That's okay, there's nothing we can click on. Oh, what's that down there? Coolant pump. That would make a well, it may make a noise, but uh, not the kind of tapping noise he's referring to. Okay, that's all okay. Oh, that's loud. Starboard block looks okay. Come over here. Let's click on here so we can just swing the camera around. Um, Supercharger is fine. We've got the starboard magneto. Ignitions. Um, yeah, it's looking okay. So we're going to have to take the top off the engine, which is what we're going to do anyway, but um, it's always nice to get these things checked out first. There we go. Uh, and we'll just get the exhausts checked to see what state the exhaust is on this side. Grand. Right, okay. That being... Oh my goodness, look at this. Thank goodness we've got the um, sped up version of uh, stripping the engine. Because otherwise oof, we'd be here a long old time. But fortunately... I don't think he's got any patrols to go up, but he's not in the, um, the scramble area, so we are good to go. You can see the aircraft lined up there, ready to, uh, to be called out. Righty ho then. Oh my goodness, look at this. This looks super complicated. All these valves. Okay, we'd be, we could be a while with this inspection. There is also a skill, of course, to increase our inspection speed, which um, going forward may be a useful tool. I still think the uh, the unbolting and bolting speed is one of the better ones. It's all looking good on this side. Okay. 
Uh, we might need to look in. We'll check the other side first, and then we might need to look in the um, a little bit more in depth. If we can just find a issue quickly, that would be lovely. But I'm guessing we're not going to. But hey, we've got a help. Hands on a Rolls Royce Merlin engine. It's no, it's no bother. It's no bother. Oh. What a soundtrack! Every time I say that, but still, it never gets old. That's all looking okay. Missed. Yeah, if we could do groups of uh, three or four of these, that'd be really good, rather than just individual things. But I think the skill. Ah, uh, there we go. We got damage valve there. I'm surprised if there's just one making noise, but um, we'll get that swapped out. Right, okay, so we know we've got to doubt this valve here. So how do we get this thing off? We need to take um, the coolant pipe off, which means we need to take... No. No? You sure? No? Okay, no. Uh, so how do we get... That just bolts out. Okay. No bother. Do that relatively... And that comes out with four bolts each side. Uh, does it really want me to? I just want to take this off. Oh god, I've got to take them all out. Put this all off, Harry. Goodness me, there's no quick jobs on this. I missed two. That little rusty one there. You can see the rust on it, or the the marks on it anyway. Oh, slowly warming up my voice with a bit of a nice cup of coffee in the morning as well. Lovely. For this, it's a nice modelling gone into this. Uh, the textures and there's a lot of effort gone into it. Yeah, right. So it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. Uh, let's just check on. This is okay. Piston cylinder is is pristine. Right. I'm hoping this is it. If it's if there's more, then well, we'll have to do a bit more uh, searching. <laughs> Oop, nope. It's the fuel truck. I feel short all of a sudden. Heave ourselves up here. There we go. Sorted. Nailed it! Or bolted it, technically, but... God, they are loud! I'm going to have to do some editing in the old um, video editor to make that myself hear hearable. Um, discernible over the noise. Because, crikey, that was... That must be turned up quite high. <laughs> Come on. Ah, you've heard the terminology watching paint dry. Well, watching bolts get screwed in. It's not as catchy, uh, I, I grant you, but... It seems to be the uh, our motto at the moment. But we must be coming close now to getting enough points to get promoted again so we get um, some more skill unlocks. And undoubtedly, we are going to be picking up a, a speed up the screwing mechanism once again. Right. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, God, it's all gone wrong. Get off. Click on that. Oh. Darn. Right, I'll just get the ladder then. I was just going to click on something and then swing myself up. I'll just get the ladder and we'll do it properly. There we go. Get these screwed in. Get the side bit on. Right 
Okay, one more, two more. There we go. We've got the bottom bit to do as well. These are nice and quick, because they just quickly quick a uh, quick half turn and there are not there. We need to put that on that side, because obviously we check that side of the engine as well. Wait for all these to go. Painted in. Lovely. And wait, and wait. Hear the rumble of the Spitfires coming near. Get this little book bar on. Oh, there's the shadow one going over. Hey, grand. Right, let's just quickly pop this on then. Uh, we'll get this coolant filled. And I've got to get this side on as well. I knew there was something I was missing. Missed. Beautiful. Right, the coolant is in these, isn't it? Yeah. Space. Yep. Do do do. Here we go. Now, do I need to un. Yeah, I need to get the cap out, of course. Be helpful. Here we go. Right, so, um. There we go. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right. Oh, don't walk on the wing. Let's get that all screwed up. Cap in. Nice. That on that in yep and the fuel which is this one here lovely right let's quickly grab this Ooh. grab this stomping around on the wing as always which you shouldn't be doing too much right let's get this topped up then there we go Brilliant. Job done. Happy days. Don't clip the propeller and cause any issues. Let's get that cap in. Uh, yeah, sometimes it doesn't... When you go to the plus, it doesn't actually uh, give you the option to put the cap in. So you have to go to remove part, negative, then back to plus to add part. And then uh, it kind of sorts itself out. Right. I think that's a good one. That should be ready for her next patrol. Good. Excellent. Ah, 912. So, fix engine knocking, refilled the coolant. Uh, final job. Perfect job. Let me refuel. So that takes us up to uh, 956. Okay, we're, we're mm, maybe not the next job. The job after we should get promoted. Okay, here we are, job 3236, Spitfire, Peter Carmen again, escort recon plane to the to the coast, no hull on the way, or on return to base. Please check the spark plugs while you're at it, I think one may be misfiring, so refill the aircraft and uh, spark plug check, fantastic. Okay, we can do that Peter, we can do that, right, first of all, Let's do the old. Uh, let's let's mix it up a bit. Let's do the refueling first, because you know we, we we're not gonna, we're not going to be. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, we're not going to be doing anything too adventurous where we we may need to remove the fuel tank. So oh, I'm I'm really, I can't reach it from here. Are you? There we go. I have to climb on the wing because for some reason. I couldn't reach it, but that's fine. Top her up. Nice. Off you pop. Pop that in there, grand. 
Uh, up you go, off you can get out, and you can get it out of the way, give us a bit more space. I'll move this a little bit closer then. So we having a bit of problems, there we go. Oh. Grand, right, let's have a look at this then. Let's unclip this. Uh, let's get the side cowling off as well, just so we get a nice clear view of everything. Um, where, where's the... So there's ignition wires. The sparkies are up there. Okay. Okay, we probably don't need the ladder, actually, because that's probably causing us a little bit of a... bit of a... get in the way. We can probably just work at an angle from down here. Yeah, grand. Right. Let's get the old ignition wires checked anyway. They're good, so that's fine. Let's get those off, then. No. No? You sure? Uh, okay, what, why aren't you letting me unclip the ignition wires? Oh, oh, because to get the ignition wires off, of course, I need to take this side cowling off, because I don't know why, but because. You should be able to just let them hang, surely. Now, will it, now it'll let me remove them, okay. It's a little bit weird, but you can go, you can go with it. Beautiful roll. Right, we'll take this side off and we'll get the ignition wires out. I'm guessing the ignition wires will just come out as a, as a unit. Assembly, will, it, will they? Oh, I guess actually we don't need to. If we just go in and go in and inspect the old sparkies. That one's okay. Oh, I can't get to this one. Hang on. That one's okay, good. That was a bit of a trouble one to get to. Yeah, they, they seem to be a bit of a, a faff to get the able to... There we go. Find the actual click spot for them. That was okay. Oh, this one's in a whole world of hidden. Um, yeah, they want, us, they want us to remove the... Um, fine... We'll remove the ignition wires just so we can get access to the. There we go. Now we should be able to full access to that one, and that's pristine. So they they're all good on that side. So it should be on this side then. Let's have a look. How's that one? That's fine. That's damaged. That's fine. Probably just that one. Oh, there's two. Okay, fine. Grand. So it's you. And it's you. Great. Right. Quick spark change. And she should be good to go. Right. Let's just. Uh... Oh, look. When it comes. That. No, go away. Why is it giving me the option to put that? There we go. I just want to put the spark plug in, not the ignition wires. There we go. It makes it so you can't actually see what you're trying to do. It's a bit confusing, but anyway. Uh, we just shoved our head into the engine. Into the block itself. That's grand. Right, can I get my head out, please? Uh, has that now? Has that? It's connected to all the spark plugs. Has it? Oh, that was quick and easy. The other one, you had to put the ignition wires on, and then connect each one up to the. Um... Oh, I'm not going to complain. Let's get these on then. Nice. That makes it nice and simple. And you think for a, a frontline aircraft such as this? I'm stuck. I am stuck. There you go. For a front line aircraft such as this, you know, they need to engineer in some um, quick releases and, and, you know, quick wins type things. So it's uh, quick to maintain and service between, uh, between sorties. Lovely. Uh, we've refueled it, haven't we? So that should be her good to go. Yes. 
Fantastico. Easy. Spark plugs checked and replaced. Fuel the aircraft. Oh. Oh? Not all parts properly screwed in. Some parts may get damaged. Port magneto. Lower ignition wire. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark plug. What? What? So then I... I was supposed to... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatevs. Right, here we go. Job 3241. He's still alive, so whatever. I uh, got called to intercept some bombers, but they got away before we showed up. Please check all the fluids before the next flight. So coolant... Um, we we'll fuel the aircraft and refill the oil. Okay, we can do that. Honestly. Where's the oil on this thing? Ah, oh, there you go. DTD oil. Brilliant. Grant. Oh! Oh, they got close. Right, um... Oh, apparently I can't do that when I've got my hands full with that, which probably makes perfect sense, actually. Yep, cool. Come back down for that. Get the coolant done. In you pop. She's not too bad, anyway. Ooh, that... <laughs> it's quite the flurry there. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right. Oh, don't walk on the wing. Yeah. No one saw that. Don't worry. Right, let's limp this thing over. Making funny noises this time. Right. Hop you down there. Uh, what's the chances we probably need to... Yeah, I need to probably put that back now. Stand up, man. Right. Uh, let's open that. Where's the oil? Okay. Lovely. Right. In fact, let's just... Can I stand up? Stand up! There you go. Let's get the ladder out of the way. It's causing more um, issues than it's, it's needed at the time. Right. Hop that in there. Awkward, isn't it? Really, but um, it's okay. Right, let's top the oil up. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Pop you back. You just make some funny noises. This sort of thing there. Right. Over there you go. Good. Let's uh, get this ladder back. Pop this ladder there. Right. This will allow us to peer in and get the cap back on. Get this closed. Sealed. And right. Um, we want to move that. That's so loud! That's so loud! Right. Oh my goodness. It seems like he's parking further and further away from the um, the aircraft. Right. Top her up. Jobs are good and happy days. And hopefully we get a promotion. Off you go. Thanks, Charlie. Everyone was called Charlie during the war. It's fact. Keep that down. Plunk. Real. Real. There we go. She's good to go. Happy days. Happy days. Just 
Uh, refill the coolant. Refill. Refill the aircraft. Refill the oil. All aircraft parts need to be installed. Have I? Oh, I've not done the um the cap. Okay. Yep. You're quite right. You're quite right. Let's um. I need the ladder. You're probably screaming at me, but yep, we got slightly distracted. And uh, got to put the old coolant cap in. Oh dear. Thankfully, we uh, we were able to catch that. Well, I say we. The uh, the game caught that and wouldn't let us complete, which is just as well. Right there we go. <laughs> Job done. Right, this should take us through the promotion points. Done it. Done it. Boom. Here we are. Promotion to leading aircraftman. God help us. And God help our country. Merit points. 1,011. We got skill... Uh, three skill points to spend. So... Um, good connections. Uh, a couple of bottles of brandy... Sent to the right people, ensure that you're always first in line for fuel and spare parts. On all tasks with time limits, you have an additional 10 minutes. Okay. There, I think there is a, a, a patch that's come out where you can actually get rid of these timers if you so wish. So wish. Maintenance expert. As a maintenance expert, fixing parts is easy as a as pie. Man, I'm, not, not, I'm getting good at that now. Uh, two assistants. An additional assistant allows you to automatically remove three screws at a time. Hell yes, we're having that. Um, what's this? Eagle Eye. A good perception combined with detailed knowledge of the aircraft systems allows you to spot faults twice as fast. Yes. Uh, so that gives us one more skill point to spend. Um, four screws at a time, or let's have a look at what we've got here. Ignition System Specialist. As an expert on ignition systems, you don't need to check every spark plug to know which one of them isn't working. That could be useful. Piston Specialist. A quick look at the pistons is enough to evaluate their status. That would be very useful. Fuel System Specialist. Deep knowledge about fuel systems mean you'll always know exactly which parts need fixing. Valve System Specialist. Many hours working with valves and rocket rocker mechanisms allows you quickly to find faults, faulty ones. Can't. <laughs> Reading Skill. Depleting as you read several sentences at once. No, Coolant System Specialist. As a specialist on engine cooling systems, you don't need to check every part to locate the problem. Or, oil system specialist, begin uh, expert on oil systems means that you only need to glance at its parts to locate the problem. Now, oil generally is quite simple. You've got the tank, you've got the filter, and you've got the pipeline. Coolant... Oh, that's valve, sorry. Um, yeah, coolant specialist. I was going to say that... Anyway. Um, that, again, isn't the most complicated system in the world. Valve would be good. Piston would be good. I'm thinking valve or piston. Uh, and I'm almost tempted to remove that and get... You know what? I am going to remove that. And we're going to get valve system and piston system. I think they're going to be two time consumers and even though three screws at a time would be good I think they're going to be a huge time saver going forward. So that's what we're going to do. Okay and we're probably going to leave it there for this week's episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Play Mechanic Simulator still. This Spitfire is a beaut and as we've got the, uh, the boys are just going to come and give us a, a farewell fly past. Lovely. What a way to end. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying it, please remember to hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video grow and it lets me know that you're still enjoying it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tick the bell next to it so you get all the notifications into your feed. And join me next time for more Play Mechanic Simulator when we work further on our beautiful little Spitfire. I'll see you next time.